I just finished building this fire pit. It is fantastic. It's made of an old washing machine, drum, and a couple of bits of scrap metal. It cost me nothing, and it took just a couple of hours to build. Let me show you how to make one. Right, so this is our old machine. It came to a very noisy end a couple of days ago, and it's mostly made of rust now. So we thought it was time to retire it and repurpose it into our fire pit. Oh dear, something is loose, caught, broken. Maybe we'll see what the problem is when we get it taken apart. The only way to get the stainless steel drum out is to use a lump hammer and a bit of enthusiastic persuasion. I'm gonna put some safety goggles on. And there we have it. Well, I found the projectile. It is a keychain my keychain that my wife bought for me as a Christmas present a few years ago. It became a projectile inside the drum during a spin cycle, knocked a hole in the drum, caused the leak, which caused the rust, and eventually it wiggled into such a position that it was catching on the outside of the drum and destroyed the machine. Check your pockets. empty and prepared stainless steel drum. So we now need to affix some legs. I've cut three legs from a bit of scrap metal we had from a previous project. The idea is now to bolt the three legs onto the drum like so. I've cut the sharp angle off there so it won't be quite as aggressive if you knock it with your knee. We're gonna have it so that the drum sits about 35 centimeters or 14 inches from the ground. Two reasons for that. One is it gets the heat a little higher to where your body is and also gets it up so you don't burn the grass or whatever else might be under it. So the trick now is to use the vise to hold the leg in the right place. Now that I've got this leg to the right height, I need to offer up the drum to the leg. I'm gonna use these holes that are here from the plastic fins that were on the inside. So try to get them central. There we go, and mark them. So this is all three of the legs all measured up and marked. So the next thing is to clamp them in the vise and then use this, which is a step drill bit. The idea is, once you have a hole drilled, you can then use this to enlarge it. The bolts we're going to use are these, which again came from the same project the angle iron came from. And we use these to bolt it all together. So we need to get the right size, which should be 12 or 14 mils. We'll get to 12, see how it fits, and if we need to make it slightly larger, we can. There are some sharp edges left over from using the angle grinder, so I'm going to file those down so they're not dangerous for anybody. That's good, all nice and smooth. Now I need to make sure that the holes in the drum are the right size. I notice they're a bit small, so I need to use the step drill to make them a few millimeters larger so the bolt fits in properly. Let's get that sorted. Right, that is the job. Well, there we are, all finished. It looks a bit like a spaceship to me. Let's go get it fired up. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the fire pit build. I think we're gonna get a lot of use out of it. What a great way to spend the evening. Warm fire, happy dog, nice drink. Doesn't get much better. <laughs>